Raven Elise TV. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Raven, coming to you live and crusty. I feel like I've come to you live and crusty for quite a few videos now. Um, but you guys should be used to it by now. I don't always have to be glammed up, do I? That takes a lot of work. Um, speaking of being glammed up, this video is going to be a part two video because I'm going to be revisiting an old, well it's not old, but a previous wig that I've already shown you guys. Um, I am getting kind of tired of wearing this wig. I don't know. I just feel like it's getting kind of boring, kind of old, and I really just want a pick-me-up when it comes to my hair. My real hairstyle that I really wanted to have for the summer is a blonde pixie cut or a blonde shaved haircut, something similar to something that I've already had, but this time going bleach blonde but I've been having trouble finding someone that I can trust that can do my hair in this area because I don't really know that many hairstylists and going from brown to blonde is kind of scary and also cutting on your hair off again is kind of scary so I'm still in the process of getting that worked out but here's a picture of the haircut that I want it's so cute hopefully one day I will get it this summer but until then I just want something fun that I can throw on when I'm feeling more edgy. You guys really loved my purple wig, which looks like this. And that one was awesome. That one was a custom wig that was cut and colored by Simone from Vanita Hair Boutique. But this time I'm going to try my hand at it. So I'm gonna be taking this black bob that I got from RPG Show, which is the same company that I got this wig from. And this is just my burgundy ombre hair that you guys have been seeing. But I'm taking the black bob and I'm going to bleach it and I'm going to be putting pink dye over it so we'll see how it turns out and I'm about to show you that right now So step one of this process, once you have all your supplies, is to mix together your bleaching agents. So I just take a couple scoops of the powder and eyeball the amount of developer that I need. I've been doing this quite a while so I can eyeball it, but if you read the back of the container, it'll tell you exactly how much that you need to mix of each one. And you just want to mix that until it's smooth and then get your wig and place it onto your wig head. Sometimes I do it on my actual head, but I felt like since I'm using bleach, it would be cleaner to just do it on the wig head. So I'm just clipping hair out of the way and beginning on one side of the head. From there, you just paint the bleach on, keeping in mind your final goal. I wanted a dark rooted kind of an ombre look. So when I was at the top of the head, I kind of just feathered the bleach out and made sure that there was no no harsh lines and I just made sure that I saturated the hair really really well then I took the wig to the sink and I rinsed out the bleach with cold water until the water ran clear and I applied some conditioner let that sit for about 30 minutes and then rinsed that out as well so this is what I got from the first round of bleaching. I got kind of nervous with the bleach because I was using 50 volume developer, which is really strong. And I had a bad experience with the last bleaching job that I did on my other wig, which you guys will hear all about that bad experience in a different video. But since I had a bad experience with that developer, I was really nervous to leave the bleach on for too long. So I only left it on for about 20 minutes. So it didn't really lighten as much as I planned to lighten it. I probably could have left it on longer and it probably would have lifted a little bit more but I just like rinsed it off because I got scared. So if I do want it to actually get to a blonde level I will have to go back over it but I'm kind of nervous to do that like I said. So for now I just wore it like this today with this kind of brassy honey blonde brown color. I am really happy with my um, blending skills though. This is like the best, you know, ombre, you know, fading effect that I've ever achieved. It kind of has that nice fade, no harsh lines, it's kind of like choppy, like the way that I wanted it. So here's a side view, and I also cut the hair. Um, I didn't record myself cutting it because 
I don't want y'all to use me as an example because I'm so horrible at cutting hair, but um, I just kind of cut the bang a little bit and I put cut the bob up so that it would be shorter in the back and be angled. So that's why it has that angle to it, a little bit more of a dramatic angle than how the wig came because it came in an angled bob, but it was like a longer version. So I just kind of cut it to fit my head shape, I guess. The hair reacted really well to this round of bleaching. I have not had any problems with it like breaking off or shedding of course it's just my first day wearing the hair after it's been bleached but I did blow dry it and I strained it so I put heat on it after I bleached it and it doesn't feel dry it's not like completely destroyed or anything like that of course it's not as perfect as it originally was because bleach is always gonna damage it you know at least a little bit but it definitely reacted really well to the bleach in my opinion so if you are interested in getting this wig and doing your own color job on it I say go for it I haven't had any problems yeah so let me know what you guys think I should do to this wig should I go ahead and try lightening it more and maybe just wear it more blonde or should I lighten it more and then put the pink guy over it like I originally planned to or should I just leave it like this so leave it like this lighten it more and wear it blonde or lighten it more and wear it pink so tell me what you think I should do down in the comments below and I will make a, another video about it but for now this is where I am so I hope you guys like it at least for right now and I'll see you in my next video bye